This is a shoe fly cake. I'm Tess, and come join me as I make this Pennsylvania Dutch shoe fly cake recipe. It is easy, rich with molasses, and oh so good. Stay tuned. <music> A while back I showed you how to make a Pennsylvania Dutch shoe fly pie. If you would like to see that video recipe, I will leave a link here and in the show more section below this video. Both the shoe fly pie and cake are rich with molasses flavor. I'm starting by making the flour crumb mixture. In a large bowl I have four cups of all-purpose flour and I'm adding in some sugar, salt, and the recipe calls for one cup of fat or shortening. I only have a half a cup of shortening, so I'm subbing some butter. I'm cutting in the fat until I have small crumbs, something like this. Then I'm removing one cup and reserving for the top. For the wet ingredients, I have the molasses. I'm using Grandma's brand, but you can use any baking molasses. It smells so good. Next, I'm adding in two cups of very hot water. I microwaved this for about three minutes, giving that a whisk to get the molasses to start melting. Now I'm adding in the baking soda, and this will react with the molasses, giving that a stir and then adding in all the remaining crumbs, giving that another good stir to combine. The batter will be loose and have this nice, rich milk chocolate color. You will be able to find this recipe in the list of ingredients in the Show More section below. If you click on the word Show More, it will open and reveal this recipe, links where you can purchase some of the items that I use, and much, much more. If you have a chance, please check it out. I'm pouring the batter into a well-greased 9 by 11 or 13 inch pan. Now I'm taking the reserved crumbs and sprinkling evenly over the top. This is going to bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 minutes. And this is the cake after 45 minutes. The kitchen smells amazing. You can see there's some cracking on the top, and that's to be expected. Going to let this cool. You can serve this shoe fly cake warm or cold. The cake is nice and fluffy with that rich gooey molasses and then topped with a powdery sweet crumb topping. Make sure you have a cup of milk, coffee, or tea by your side. I hope you give this Pennsylvania Dutch shoe fly cake a try and enjoy. If you like this video recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Facebook and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love!